Ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to create a navigation bar in Figma, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. It's relatively simple, so follow these steps. So the first thing we want to do is go over to the left hand side, click on assets and you can find some navigation bar assets here. Now, if you don't want to use any of the assets you find here, you can always import your assets. Essentially, this is what you're going to be looking at. So you have each one of these as individual assets and you're going to click on this and you're going to right click and you're going to click on add auto layout. This will just create a box around this and we can customize that later. Let's do the same over here and we're going to do the same over here. So what this essentially is, is one bar and they're in individual sections. So you can go now and you can change what it looks like. So let's go under auto layer. You can see it says fill and we can actually fill this to a different color. Let's make it white. We can make this one the same. You add the fill and yep. Let's do exactly the same. Now, one of the other things you can maybe do here is maybe around the corners. So let's make this seven and click on this one as well. We're going to make this seven and we can do the same here. And this is completely up to you and what your needs are. But this is what it's going to look like, the rounded corners. And when you're done with this, what you'll be doing is customizing each button when it is selected. So, for example, we are going to go and click on this first button. Now, if you go to the right hand side again and we go down to the selection colors, you can see that there are a bunch of different selection colors there. So let's say we want to just take this selection color here and let's go and click on custom and we can make it our own color. So let's go in here and let's make it green. All right. So. This can work. You can also do the text. So if you go back down here into the selection color, you'll see over here, you can go in here again and you can make it green. All right, so this is how you're customizing that individual button when it's selected. From here, what you wanna do is go ahead and select all of this and you're gonna use Control C and Control V, all right? And this will now copy this selection and you can see we have another one over here, okay? So let's just place it equally. We can go ahead and we can select all of this again. And as you can see, we're gonna say Control C and Control V again, and we are going to paste this now, also equally spaced, as you can see, just below here. So the next step involves making sure that the green icon is actually in the second row on the second item and in the third row on the third item. And once you've done that, you can start making these buttons interact with each other. From here, you're going to go over to the right hand side, click on prototype and we are going to just select this very first one okay so this is where your flow will start okay this is your flow starting point right over here so this is how we do this this one over here the very first section what will happen is when you click on this it will end up looking like this so the little plus icon there you can just click down and drag it and drag it to what it will look like and you can say navigate to all right, the very next one is the updates. Now, if you go here, you can click on this and the plus icon will show up. Now, when you click on it, you're going to drag it to the last one. So when this is clicked, you can see this is what it's going to look like. OK, so we're going to do the same for all the rest of these. So the Explorer over here, when we click on it and it looks like that, we are going to just navigate it to look like that. The saved. It's going to stay as is and the update on here we're going to click down and just drag it to there now on the last one as well we're going to just click on this we're going to go up to the top link it to that one and this we're going to click on this and we're going to link it to that one and this one over here on the right hand side the updates the last one it'll stay as is now once you've got this relationship happening here you can now start to customize how it actually works so um, you can now say um, you can remove the connection if you want to but right now we are going to run the prototype so what you'll need is you're going to go into assets and we are going to drag one of these navigation bars just over here okay 
Now, when we place this navigation bar here, we will go ahead and this navigation bar will be our tester. So once you click over here, which will preview this, you can either click on that or you can click on the preview prototype up here on the top right hand side and you'll be able to test and see if it's working.